Hello everyone, how's it going today? Today I wanted to get into the blocks and show you a bunch of different angles and some transitions and different things that you can do with the blocks and a couple of tools. So I figured I'd start with uh, the more basic blocks and what I wanted to do really was to cover a lot of the different angles and things that you can do with various sets of blocks. Now to start with, I'm gonna go with the very simple uh, blocks. So we're gonna do like a little wedge pattern over here and I'll just kind of build that up. And these are uh, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, so this is a 45 degree angle and it just kind of goes straight up. And uh, that is one main angle, of course, you'd wanna, wanna know when you're building uh, different ships or have the knowledge of. Now, what you can do, though, is here, I'm going to get over here, and there's a couple blocks here that will allow you to do kind of a, a beveled edge on that angle, and that is uh, this corner half A3 and this cut corner E. Now, so what I'm going to do is just kind of lay those out on here, and with the two combinations of blocks there, you get a nice little smooth angle like this. Um, pretty easy to do. Now, one of the uh, the biggest sets of blocks that I think everyone ought to know is these four over here. Now, I'm on the first page in basic shapes. Um, these all kind of work together, and I'll show you how that's done in a minute. For instance, here, I'll just kind of rotate this so it is uh, going one, one direction or the other here. And this is, this is some basic stuff. I mean, a, few, I, a lot of builders obviously know all this stuff. So this is just kind of getting started with the game and trying to understand the uh, core blocks. So let me pop in one of these. And then as you go up the line here, these all fit together. So we've got that one, and then this one, and then this one. So that kind of makes a, uh, an angle like that, and allows you to keep on going with that angle any size you want by expanding out on all the uh, borders of it. So this could, you know, make a nice uh, hull of a spaceship or whatnot or like an angled transition period. Now, there's something else you can do too here, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put in the, its counterparts, which are the full blocks here, which match at the same 22.5 degree angle that these are. So we'll pop in a couple of these over here. There. Now we've got this nice uh, angled triangular shape. Now, as an alternative, though, now this angle is, is uh, pretty much 22.5 degrees on both angles. So on this, on this surface here and on this surface, there's another set of blocks that is a little bit different. Um, it has to do with this cut corner C, slice corner D, and a block actually on another page. Um, this corner half A3. And these three fit together to make a 45 off from a 22.5 degree angle. So as you can see, it's a little bit different than the other side. And with that block, this block, and I'll just pop in another one there, and then this block, you can create a different angle off from those. As you can see, that's a little bit different. So if you wanted a different kind of bevel or whatnot, but you don't have to stop there because these blocks also work with the blocks that we did on the other side. So this is kind of a transition. So what I'm gonna do now is switch back over to this set of blocks. Let me get this aligned correctly. Now, when I'm aligning these things too, there's a certain method that I typically do. And 
A lot of times I like to start, you know, especially in a set like this, I like to start with the smallest block. I mean, later on, you don't have to once you really know them well, but it's easier to see how these, how this lines up. For instance, I know I wanted to have one of these angled surfaces facing this direction so it would line up to the block over there. So let's just screw this all up and rotate it all funky. So see, I, uh, I select this block and it looks like that. So my first step would be to try to get one of these angled surfaces facing that direction. So to do that, I'm kind of going through the different access and I notice that this is like 180 off over here. Um, and I'll switch it over to here so then I can get it uh, aligned that way. Now, I, I just find it easier to start with a smaller block like that. Moving on, so now we can take this set of, of blocks, carry that on up, and it also aligns to the other set of blocks. So this is giving you kind of a, a, a more of a angled surface again. So it's, it's going from, from this angle to that angle to this other angle over here. Um, it's good stuff to know. I mean, it really helps you do a lot of more intricate shaping. So that's a couple examples. Now, what if I wanted to take, here, I'm going to build another one of these uh, 45 degree wedges in a minute. Now, another thing you can do is to also take, say, this group of blocks and rotate that so it comes out from an angle like this. And I kind of know already that I need to go to the uh, the fourth one, but like if you just went up one, it wouldn't fit quite right. So we're going to go up to that. And now we've got a, another different angle going on. Now with, with 22.5 degree angles, you're not going to find the blocks needed to instantly like uh, transition this into something else again until you go two blocks through with it. So for instance, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add another row over here before I uh, try to change the direction and angle of the last one. Um, so from here, we could actually go back to the first set of blocks that we were looking at, and that's these. And then we could uh, add in a couple of those and its counterpart. So now we're getting an angle that's going from this to that to this other. You don't have to stop there though, because now we can use that other group of blocks, which uh, made up of uh, the three over here, to also keep on going with a slightly different angle on that. Um, oh, get back over here. So again, this this angle and then this angle. So that will line up to this and that and the other. <laughs> so you're kind of almost making a curve, more or less. And there's so many different combinations of ways you can do this. I just kind of wanted to cover a lot of the, uh, the base building blocks. Like blocks, I think, you know, if you're serious about building um, uh, nice looking creations and things for the game, these are really good to know. Especially, uh, you know, if you're just starting out and you're, you're not familiar with all this stuff. Um, some really, really neat stuff to know. So we did a lot of different transitions here. Um, let me just get this filled in here so it's nice and smooth. And let's see. Now we've got this over here. And we've got uh, this angle going into this angle, which is going into this other angle over here. And now I want to find what block set will make that all work together. 
And I believe that's actually returning to this group again, which are so, the, these four blocks are just so very important um, when building so many different things. For instance, now that flows into this, and then we use this piece here to kind of cap that off. So now we've got all kinds of different angles going on. And I'm going to keep on going with that another row up here again. And now we've got this other set here. Now this is a different angle again, but it's going back into the other set of blocks, which would be this group here. So again, when I'm rotating this, I'm looking at the angles and I knew that I wanted to set this uh, in this particular direction to fit between the other two. But just, just knowing how these blocks work really help when you're designing something so you know what you can do and can't do and have it look right. All right, now to move on to some other things here, I want to show you a very common scenario when uh, building things, and that is what you can do with walls and floors and ceilings. For instance, let's just say that this is a wall of the base. Now currently, I'm, it is, uh, looks like it's eight blocks long. Now to start with, one of my design things that I typically follow is I don't like to deal with even numbers. And the reason I don't is because there is two, there is not a center point between here. There's not a one block center. So being eight blocks kind of makes it, I think, more difficult to build. In some cases it, it works and maybe that's the way you want it. But in this case, I'm gonna add one more row here so it's a nice even nine block, well, uneven nine blocks. So I have a center beam. So let's just say this is a outside wall of your base and you want it to be pretty. Um, a lot of different things you can do with this. Now one, you can always add some, some columns. Very simple like this. And let's just say this is the top, whoop, this is the top of the base here. But that's still, I mean, it's very boring. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, it works. It, uh, you, you could do this kind of stuff in Minecraft, but what, what can you do with all these blocks here? Well, to start with, um, I'm gonna go through and replace a lot of these and try to come up with different design patterns or something that we can put there, uh, not costing anymore, just, uh, just something a little more to look at. So rather than the full block, let's go into something really different here. I'm gonna get into these uh, this shapes and pipes. And there's these, uh, this group over here, like that. And uh, what's nice about this block is, of course you've got this, this curved surface here, but it's, it's a, a solid wall on the back side. It's one of the blocks I would use to make some interesting patterns in like floors and ceilings and walls, things like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do here whoop, is, uh, let's say we run some of these like that. Now inside of here, there is a part that fits with that and that's this ramp round F. And I'm gonna put in a couple of these. And let's say we wanna do something even different on the top of this. Um, let's go with a basic shape again. How about uh, just, uh, just an angle, 45 degree angle across the top. And then I wanna do something uh, even different on the uh, center row here. Now I could just make it, you know, so it, it matches the same as what the, the sides are, but I want to break that up a little bit more. And this is one of the, uh, all these 
are some of the new blocks that were added in with Alpha 10. So I like to use these when I can. So I'm thinking maybe uh, something like this in there, but I don't like the way it's angled right now. I actually want it facing the other direction. So I'll rotate that and then rotate it around a couple more times. Whoops. Like that. And then we can add in one of these just half blocks in the middle here. So now rather than just a, a plain wall, now we've got all this all this stuff going on over here. Now these uh, these column beams here, they're kind of uh, they're kind of boring too, um, just squarish, and uh, I want to do something about that. So what I'm thinking about is maybe kind of bevel in a little bit, a couple of these and then a couple more of these half blocks in the middle to make that beam a little bit more dressed up. And let's say over here we wanted to do something totally different. So let me get rid of all these full blocks here and we'll try a different kind of design. Um, say we uh, run some of these, which are a very useful block as well. I'll do a couple like that on there, and then on the top here, we could uh, switch that over to a 22.5 degree angle. So this is 45, and then the other is 22.5. And let's say I wanted to kind of curve this down, but I want to keep a solid wall here so you can't see through it. Um, this block I find very useful as well, this ramp B medium. And it's basically, it's just about like this one, but it has an edge on the other side as well. So by doing that, that kind of creates a little bit different angle again and keeps it solid on the back. And now I could actually uh, reverse that around if I wanted to and do something like this here. Now, something else that was brought up in comments I wanted to cover real quick, it had to do with construction itself in creative mode. Um, when I first started out, I didn't know all the, uh, the bells and whistles on all this. So it took me a while, to, and I had to come across things. And how I did things in the past, actually, to remove blocks and things like that, was the multi-tool. So I sat blocks like this over here. Now, since then, I discovered that when you're in creative, if you hold down the shift key and right click when you have a something selected that you could place, like a block, um, this, any, any kind of part that's placeable, you have selected. Now you hold down the shift key and then you right click on where your uh, crosshair is set up and it removes the block. Uh, much much quicker than switching to the multi-tool and removing it that way. Now something else I wanted to show real quick is how the uh, the end key tools work. So if I hit N on the keyboard, it brings up this menu list, and this is uh, useful for a lot of different things. Um, one of them, the key features is a symmetry plane that you can set up at different angles. And also under debug, you have different um, options to show oxygen, structural integrity, uh, airtight blocks, and center of mass. Now, a couple of these I find kind of bugged a little bit. Center of mass and uh, structural integrity inside of creative, at least, I've had a lot of problems with. Um, I don't know if that's just a bug or, or intentional. But to start with, uh, Let's do a symmetry plane. So I'll, I'll select this and then I'll select uh, the axis. Now, most ships that I end up building actually use a YZ axis, and that's more typical. And I'll show you what this does here. So I'll, I'll click on this, and, uh, and then basically, I, it looks like I already had a symmetry plane on this before. But you have to, uh, once you click on that, you have to set where you want it to be. 
So, for instance, let's say I pick over here. Now, one thing about setting up a symmetry plane is that is that if it is in between two blocks like this and you're using odd numbers as your as your base like you know like nine blocks across it's not going to work well so what you want to do is set your symmetry plane at the center of a block so rather than being on the edge of a block I set it at the center so now everything I do on this side will be mirrored to the other side for instance, uh, let's just build something here. As you can see, now that's, uh, that's coming through on the other side over there. Big, big time saver when building things. Um, and most ships and things are symmetrical going, going that way. Now also, if you were still using the multi-tool, if you wanted to delete a block on this side, it won't do it in symmetry. It will not remove the block on the other side. To do that, you would again hold the shift key and then right click on it, and then it will. So, big, big time savings there as well. Now, on other types of blocks, of course, there's, there's a lot of different stuff going on here, and I'll just do a little bit more on uh, some transitioning. And I hate to say it too because I already made this video and I got interrupted while making it and so I started it again but I forgot to turn my mic back on so it didn't have any audio so I'm actually just doing this all again. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm using these uh, this block which is also a block I like to use quite a bit uh, just a straight like uh, a curved block like that but there's a lot of things you can do with this and you can transition this into other things especially now with alpha 10 and the, and the new blocks out but a block that I discovered actually well it was shown to me by Spanch a long time ago now um, is and, and we call this the Spanch block is it's kind of a transition going from a, uh, a curve like this into a 45 degree angle very very useful for so many different situations like you know doing like a cap like this um, but let me just show you now that we so, so we're going from round and now we're going into a, uh, a 45 degree angle and from the 45 degree angle you could change this around to flow a different way um, and stay very lined up for instance, here, let me get back over here, and let's go with some of these these uh, blocks that I first showed, like this here. So we could cap that off that way, but I actually want to do it opposite of that. And say I wanted to come up from around and then have an angle coming off this direction. So with these two blocks, again, as a set, I could go with that and then this and then another one of these and so on so now we've got this nice smooth transition there I'll say on the other side we wanted to do this a little bit differently um, the other group of blocks here we could also come off from this with so I'm going to get this aligned and I kind of know what's going to be this block already, but you can keep on kind of going up and seeing, you know, what block will fit there once once you're aligned correctly. So let's say we go with that one and to that one. Kind of build out this little uh, this angle here. So you know, so now we're transitioning two different kinds of angles coming off from uh, round. style there okay so now let's try to take all these and put them together and make something pretty interesting and then also use the copy and paste feature so what I want to try to do is build a sphere now that's kind of you know once you can build a sphere you can really know all how all these blocks work together 
So as in the sphere, I'm going to start out very, very simple. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what. Actually, we're going to start out just with some solid blocks there. And let's just say this is the bottom of uh, half of the, of the uh, sphere. So from there, I'm going to just kind of build this up a little bit. And again, using any of these 22.5s, you typically want to go up two blocks to have them fit well. So we've got an angle like that. And let's, uh, let's use that other group of blocks. I think I'm going to want this one, but not that particular block, the uh, one down from there. And we want to put, say, these on both sides here. Now, sometimes, you know, I get a, I still, if I'm not thinking about it a lot, too, I get a little confused. Like, hey, I want this block to be the opposite of that block. How do I, how do I switch it that way? And it's actually rotating it this direction. We'll, we'll do it in one step for you. And then we'll pop in a couple of these. And you know what? Okay, so we've got that going on. Um, I realize my base row isn't quite right right now, so let me fix that up too. So we're going to go with this ramp A here. And then this one here. All right, so everything is at this particular angle now, and now we want to switch that into a different angle. So I'm going to go back to this group of blocks again and get it aligned correctly. And then we'll pop in a couple of these over here like that, and now we're going to go two blocks again with it. Hmm. I don't really call this a sphere. So weird, I had it right the first time, darn it. <laughs> um, all right, so kind of angle that off there. So we've got uh, quite a few different blocks in here making this, this pattern up, but I realize that I don't have it right. On the front side here isn't lining up correctly. So, you know, I hate to do it, but I want this right. I want to try to get as close to a sphere as I can, and that doesn't work there. So let me get rid of those blocks. As you can see, I left symmetry on too, so we're making a, a duplicate copy on the other side of this plane over here. I don't really care at this, this point in time. What I forgot to put in here to make this transition happen is the more basic block here, these angles. So, let's get that. Oh. Not there. So now over here, I want to go back to the other blocks, which oh, this set. Let's see if I got that right or not. I think so. And no doubt it gets a little tricky trying to do this this kind of thing, but it's just it's nice to know that you can do it. So when you're uh, building your own creation, you can kind of go through your mental database of of different things, different ways you can put the blocks together to create things that you think you you know might have not known before. So on this block, nope, I'm going to have to use one of these again. And I want to go 
follow through with this one more time. Still don't think I got that quite right. It's making a nice uh, angle here though, but uh, it's not quite what I was looking for. So we're going from this to this, and then I went to this, which I don't think was the right choice yet. Well, let's just keep on going with this and see what it comes out to be. So from over here, let's say I wanted to, uh, switch that up yet again get this angle in here and then this over here and the reverse of it on this side The center blocks here could be these. Followed up by these. Now we're starting to get that that look. So if I still have it wrong over here, and let me uh let me fix that. Make a little more room here too. So where did I go wrong over here? All right, I think what I actually needed to do was get back into, or stay with this a little bit longer. to these. There. Okay, so here we just want to uh, keep that at a regular angle all right it's getting it's getting there but it's still nowhere near a sphere so let's try to go up another row here with this let's see where we end up at It's kind of neat, as you can see, it's kind of going from this angle and then changing from that angle, but it's like doing all the different angles in between as well. And here's our center point, so I'm just going to kind of extend that up for now on both sides.
Now on the bottom here, it's kind of coming in at that slope and I actually think it probably ought to um, tone it down a little bit and change the angle here as well. So we're transitioning from a 45 to a 22.5 here at the bottom. Now we got to follow this angle all the way along the bottom. So what is the best way to do this? I believe it's going to be this this set of blocks again. Oops. Try to get that the same on both sides here in a minute. Here, we're going to switch back into these. All right, so definitely more sphere like. So now this is one corner. Now this brings, uh, well, hold on done yet. Nah, nah, not yet. Let's make this come out right too. Hmm. You know what? There is a alternative to this really thin one I'm going to try here. And then its counterparts. Several different angles going across there. Kind of an interesting shape. All right, so next part, I want to show you some copying and pasting. And I want to take this, this part, and copy it um, around quite a bit so we can make a uh, sphere out of it. So what I did is I, t I turned off symmetry plane. I went to selection. Now, when you, as soon as you do that, you can start uh, dragging an area around the area you want to copy. So, for instance, I'm just kind of dragging this out. And it's, it's, it's very inaccurate here. Um, and say you wanted to go other dimensions with it, odds are it's going to be problematic. So I usually just stop it right there. And then you have this tool here in the middle. And there's three different modes on it. This is move, so it'll move this box around if I want to shift it out one way or the other. Um, if you hit the center, it goes to scale mode. Um, this is what I actually wanted, so I want to I want to drag it up to enclose this entire section here. And what I what I did again is I hit the N key again, so it it leaves the box, but it allows me to move around and take a look at you know what I've what I've got selected right now, see if I need to modify it or change it. Once I'm satisfied that I've got the area I wanted selected, sometimes I'll even check below the floor to make sure that you know I've it stops where it should. So now I'm going to say I hit N again, and then I'm going to go to copy. Usually, instantly, I just turn around and hit paste. Now. It's not actually pasting this to the world yet, but it's kind of paste, pasting it to your brush, I guess you could say. Now, something weird has changed here, though. Um, hmm. Copy. Not sure where my, uh, my tools are going to. 
They're supposed to be visible when I do this. All right, I'll copy here. I'll tell you what, we'll just put this up in the air for now. Just want it away from everything else. And I'll paste. Now, technically, it's not there yet until I paste it again. And now it's there. And now I got my... Uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so we have this pasted over here. So I'm going to paste it again. Oh, now my... Uh, and now we want to rotate it. So I'll select on this a couple more times. You can also do it by these keys over here. But uh, we're going to want to rotate this for now at this angle. Something changed with this, these tools. It's not behaving like it normally would. So it's kind of screwing me up. I don't know why it's being this way. But it's manageable. So now I want to bring this back and line it up with the other side. All right, let's call it right there. We'll paste again. I'm going to save myself some time. I think what I'm going to do is just grab this whole chunk now, and make sure I got that all selected right. Okay, and we're going to copy this, and we're going to paste it, and rotate that around, then move it to place. And often when I'm doing this, I keep on getting in and out of the end tool. And when you're in the end tool, you can't move around. So you hit N again, it toggles it off. Then you can kind of move your view around and see what you, see what you got going on again. All right, so we're going to paste that there. And now I want to take this entire chunk. Copy that, paste it, and I want to rotate that upside down and move it into position again. Even kind of looking at the different patterns you can come up with if you didn't paste it, you know exactly what you're thinking of. Kind of interesting. Some different shapes. All right, so now looking at my, uh, my sphere, I realize that it's more egg-shaped than a sphere at this time. So I'm not going to paste it right there. I'm going to paste it down. Um, got there, and I think to make it right, it would actually have to be about there. That's pretty close. Let me just do a count here a minute. So from the center, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and six and a half. So let's say the center was the block in between these other two. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a fish okay so I think it would need to go here so we'll paste that in there and to save a little time I'm going to turn on symmetry and we're gonna set that in the center here so now I only have to worry about building one side of it not the other side 
Um, so, what would I need to do to make this a, to finish off this sphere? This is actually a shape I've never built before, so, um, never, never really tried to go all the way with a uh, sphere. I tried, well, I take that back. I, I did a long time ago, but it was missing so many blocks that I didn't, I didn't find it very feasible. Um, but I'm, with the new blocks in Alpha 10, it appears to be much, much easier to be done now. Or, or you got the blocks you needed to be able to make it a reality. Okay. So, I think all I really need to do is kind of match this row at the same angle going down to this point. Which is going to get me back into this set of angles. Not that particular block, but. Something like that. And. Probably two of those there. We need this one in the center. that one. I do the same thing on this side. Actually with this tutorial I didn't I didn't actually mean to get uh, caught up into something um, quite this complicated but uh, it's cool it's cool it's uh, if you can build this shape you can build pretty much any shape because this is uh, one of one of the hardest things you could probably try to build shape-wise. All right, so everything's lined up pretty good right now. Um, so what do we put here? So, oh, that's a good question. What block would I put here? Well, here, let's, let's try to angle the top part out. Maybe I need to go back to these. Yeah, I think that is what I'm looking for. And then this one. Yeah, yeah, I think that hit it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to build the same thing out on the this side now, or do I cheat and copy it? Hmm, probably be quicker copying it, but I want to do it one more time just so I kind of know what I was doing, I guess. Let's see if I get this right the first try. <laughs> do here. Oh, I see. I don't want to I don't want to do that one.
kind of like a puzzle. Okay, not, not too bad, not too bad. So let's just trip this out a little bit and let's do some kind of uh, line in the, in the middle that's indented by one, one row. To give it kind of this uh, little line over here. Something to see, I guess. I guess that all lines up correctly. Um, my only concern was right on these edges here. Can I change that angle to not slope out quite as much? It does look a little, little bulgy there. I'm trying to think on what here. Let me just make a effort at it real quick see if I can find anything that would work and I think maybe get into these again these blocks so it lines up better. There. Well, I dare say that's just probably as round as I could make something like this. Um, I don't know of any other blocks that would uh, uh, fit in the mix here to make that a little bit better. So last thing, I just want to take my new corner and copy that throughout. Oops. Okay, so selection. Please, if you're watching this too, um, do ask some questions. Um, some things I just take for granted, um, and a lot of times I don't don't even realize it. It's just uh, one of those one of those things there. But I'm trying to explain most of this in what keys I'm hitting and whatnot. And I think all this kind of thing is, you know, if you're if you're serious about building some some good looking ships and bases or whatever creations of any kind, knowing all this is going to help you achieve um, those goals. I mean, of of making some really really neat looking stuff. And this game, for instance, for being a voxel building type of game, really gives you a lot of uh, options. I mean, a lot of stuff you could do. It's, I mean, it's endless on what you can actually build with this. Um, now, of course, I wish there were more angles. Um, there's two main sets of angles in this game, and that would be, uh, 
your 22.5 and 45 degree angles, and those can go in any direction. But you don't have anything more than that. Now, doing other things, I um, used to do some, some level designing and some uh, like 3D model building and things like that. A lot of times I would uh, run things at different angles, like, and I would call it a ratio. Like, um, I would look at it at this as this is a two one, so it goes two blocks over, one block down. And some of the creations I would do or, or things I would make would be like five one, so it would be like five blocks over, one block down. Now you can't do anything like that in this game. It doesn't allow those kinds of shapes. Um, you know what? There it is. I gotta raise this up one more. Be cool if it did though. Very cool. Okay, copy, paste, rotate. Where'd you go? I lost you out there. Yeah, that's, something's weird with this right now. It didn't respond this way. It wasn't so off-centered in things. It's kind of hard to explain exactly what happened here. I don't know if it's, it might be a little bug. I know that things are getting changed a lot. And uh, this is kind of something that might slip through the cracks there. to see if that's aligned correctly. It looks like it is. Okay, paste that. And I'll do a paste again. And one more rotate. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. Rotate it again. Okay, this is the last side I need. Might take a little bit sometimes to do something like this, but it's probably still quicker than reblock and building the whole area again. All right, I'm gonna paste you. Somehow this turned into a goal to make a sphere. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm missing a couple blocks on this, this row here somehow. So let's get those filled in. go some some form of uh, sphere out of a bunch of different blocks and transitions so it can be done um, it's not a perfect sphere by any stretch of the imagination it might might be able to be improved on some more um, but uh, well anyway I hope you found this interesting and give you some ideas on how to how you know different shapes and things you could do and uh, utilize a lot of these different transitions now I only covered pretty much the basic blocks here too I mean there's a ton of uh, ton of different blocks 
and things like that. But I just wanted to get like these core blocks done so you know what can be done with them. Um, and then all the other blocks start to make more sense on how they would fit to the angles that you're using on these blocks. Well, anyway, you all have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed this and maybe even learned something. Thanks a lot.